Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Access can also create lookup fields within a table that can look up values in another table, query, or hand typed list from which it will then draw its values. Now if the field is looking up data from another table versus a query or list, it will automatically create an additional join between the two tables which you would see in the relationships window. So don't panic if you see these joins appearing in the relationship window. These types of joins are simply needed for the purpose of the lookup field. Now you create the lookup fields in the table design view when you're creating your tables. You can pick the lookup wizard from the data type column dropdown when using the table design view. This then launches the lookup wizard to help you create the lookup field. The wizard will ask you a series of questions regarding the lookup field which you will answer in each screen. You then click the next button to continue from screen to screen. When you're done answering questions, click the finish button inside of the lookup wizard to create the lookup field. So here we're going to indicate whether it's values from another table or query or if you're going to type the values by hand. In our example we're just going to look up fields from another table so we'll select that option click the next button. Here we're going to look up values from the items table. Notice you can choose to view tables, queries, or both by choosing an option here. Then we'll click next. What fields contain the values you want included? So here we're going to take the item ID, which is what we'll actually store, but we also want the item description for the user to see. So we'll choose those two fields and add them to the selected fields and click Next. We can sort them by item ID or description. Let's choose to sort by description and once again ascending or descending order by clicking that button. Then click Next. How wide do you want the columns to be? Also, you can choose to hide the key column, the actual stored numeric value in this case. And you can widen the column that will be displayed in the dropdown. Once again, click Next. It asks what label you would like. Once again, we're going to leave that. Also, do you want to enable data integrity between these tables? In this case, because it's going to actually create the join between the tables for us, we're going to check Enable Data Integrity. And once again, you can cascade, delete, or restrict, delete. Also, if you wanted to store multiple values, which started in Access 2007, you could check that checkbox. In this case, we don't, since we're actually creating referential integrity and can't have multiple values, as that violates all the concepts of referential integrity. So, when we're done, just click the Finish button. So here it tells us the table must be saved before the relationships can be created. Save now and click Yes. So even though the item ID in the order details stores the number, we can see when somebody selects it, they'll actually see a drop down with the item description from the items table. And if we look at what's created in the relationships window, you can see that it made the join for us as we create it using the lookup wizard. So once again, the data type of the lookup field just shows the type of data it's looking up. So for example, if the values being looked up by the lookup field are numbers, the data type column of the lookup field changes to number, as you can see in the order details. And once again, to use the lookup field, you just switch to the table's datasheet view. And when you click into the lookup field, you'll see a drop down menu of choices, which it looks up from the associated table, query, or list, from which you can then select. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.